Knoxville, um, like most cities, just, uh, you know, baseball has always been a part of it. Prior to emancipation, black people were playing baseball. They were playing the American game. So in 1920, the Knoxville Giants will be formed here in Knoxville. And that year, which is an inaugural year for the Southern League, which is going to be out of Atlanta, Georgia, Knoxville will be an inaugural team in that inaugural Southern League. Professor Brooks, he'll be a Knoxville College graduate. He'll be a professor here in Knoxville. He's the one who will assemble the team. Steel Arm Dickey, one wing Maddox. Knoxville will win the league that year. We will come at that first year in 1920. So that's our claim to fame. A lot of the players would always talk about the challenges when they got there. Many of them would have to keep working and keep playing. Oftentimes they're gonna have to sleep on the bus when they get to the towns where they're in because there's gonna be a place where they can sleep, but they love the game. And it was so wonderful because because people came out to see the game. And actually there were many people who crossed those color barrier lines because that was how exciting baseball was to see black, these extraordinary black players play the game. In Knoxville from 1959 to 1974, um, we're gonna undergo urban renewal. The first urban renewal project was located in the bottom um, and we call it the bottom, but uh, actually it was the Willow Riverfront project on the exact spot right now where the baseball stadium, the proposed baseball stadium and all of its developments are going to be is that location, which was the center heart of, of the bottom. So our hope is that not only what we do when we open on game day that you walk down there and you get to celebrate, have great baseball, but you also get a cultural experience and you can go down to the bottom and you can see monuments and statues and markers to ensure for generations to come that as we enjoy our baseball team, the Tennessee Spokes, we also enjoy the rich history and legacy of not only Negro baseball, but that community, which is still so very important to Knoxville today.